Hey everybody, this is Andrew here with the Tower E-Bike Repair Shop. And today we're gonna to be talking about batteries and how you can see if they're the root of all of your causes. So we've talked a little bit about in other videos, um, you know, sort of troubleshooting your e-bikes or running through the system, trying to discover what the problem is. Today we're gonna to be focusing on batteries. Now, a lot of people assume if you have some sort of a bike problem, you know, your bike doesn't power on, it's fully charged, but it's not powered on, and won't turn on or won't function. A lot of people think that it's the problems with the battery where a lot of times it could be the battery, it could be the controller, it could be one of the connections, it could be the motors. So there's a lot of sections where it can go wrong. But today we're gonna to help you figure out and zone in on figure out if it's the battery or some other component on the bike. If we look down right here in front of me, I have two separate tower batteries. And then of course I have my multimeter. Now this multimeter is very handy. And if you plan on doing sort of any electrical diagnostic on your own, or plan to do any of your own sort of e-bike maintenance or labor, you definitely want to get one of these multimeters. You get them, they're pretty expensive. There's a wide range of them. You could get one for as little as, you know, 20 to 30 bucks, or you can get one that's a couple hundred bucks. So there's a big range there. Something usually in like the 30 to $60 range is going to be really nice. It's going to give you all the readings you need, and it's going to be nice in quality. So I have this one here in front of me and I'll show you quickly how to uh, use it. So we just turn it on to uh, read the volts there and we're reading a direct current. So you can see the numbers kind of going up and down here. We have our, our two probes here. This red one is obviously your positive with this black one being your negative. Like I said, I have two tower batteries here. Both of these batteries, if you can see, are switched onto the on position. So they are delivering juice as much as a uh, the batteries can. So I'm going to start with this one here on the right. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the terminals, the output terminals on your battery. Now, sometimes they will be listed positive. Sometimes they'll be listed negative. Sometimes there will be nothing there. And you're just going to have to put the probes on the spot here on our battery. It's nice. You have the positive negative symbols there. So it's real easy. Remember red goes positive, black goes negative. And if your bike does not have the positive and negative on there, you can just put the probes on there because if you have it flip flopped, basically it'll just give you the same voltage, but negative. So if you see the negative voltage, you have them switched around, but that reading will still be accurate to what you're looking for. We're going to put that, uh, put that on the positive, put that on the negative. And then if we look here, we see that that has shot up and that's given out some nice voltage there. So you see it's nice and constant and good and solid. So this battery here, it's fully functional and it's outputting voltage. So if this was your battery and you were having some problems with your bike, the problem is not in the battery, it's somewhere else. Now I have this other battery here. Let's see what happens when we connect up those probes. All right, you can see a whole lot of nothing is going on there. So that means this particular battery is broken. So if your bike had this particular battery, your battery would be the main source of the issue. Now, just because you have sourced it down to the battery does not mean that that's the only part on your bike that's broken, but definitely the connection ports on your battery are not working. So once you can verify that that is fixed and working, then you can start hooking it back up to your system and seeing if that's the whole problem or if there are some other parts on there. Thanks for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful day.